Not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five brand new tanks entered the Super Test, ladies and gentlemen, and today we are going to talk about all of them, including this absolutely weird looking upcoming premium tank, I guess. One looks uh, weirder than the other, I don't know what uh, tank designers back in the days were smoking or... Uh, what is uh, Wargaming using to come up with those designs? Uh, anyway, let's dive right into it. And on the top of that, I have some free goodies for you in this video. So first up, we have the Panzerkampfwagen 35R. I hope this is correct. A tier 2 vehicle which has a turret that looks a lot like uh, one of the Russian turrets, in my humble opinion. This is the light tank that doesn't move very lightly. Uh, let's put it that way. 23 km per hour top speed, 12 moving backwards, uh, power. 82 horsepower engine, 7.7 <laughs> power to weight ratio. Like this uh, screams a Kif tank, you know. It is such a bad tank, they are going to give it away for free. Hey, here you go. It is so bad, we can't sell it in the game. We just give it away as a tier 2 premium tank, I guess. You know, it is standard uh, standard bad gun handling for the low tier vehicles. Minus 8 degrees of gun depression is quite nice though. But that turret simply does not fit the vehicle. I guess it was uh, one of the captured tanks or something like that. Let me know if you know more about that. Next up, tier 3 Panzerkampfwagen M15, uh, which is a light tank that actually moves a bit, uh, 16 power to weight ratio, 40 moving forward, 15 moving backwards, uh, stop speed numbers, uh, 40 damage, uh, 2.3 second aiming time, 1.7 second, sorry, 2.3 second reload time, 1.7 second aiming time, uh, 42 penetration. You know, it is uh, more like a tank, and it is the least weird looking tank in today's list, uh, uh, which looks like a normal low tier tank right but now before i'm going to show you more new vehicles coming to world of tanks let me introduce you to a game what you may have seen on this channel before which has many tanks in the game as well and who is kindly sponsoring today's video do you guys remember a game i introduced to you a couple months ago warpath well they are back over here which is simply fantastic as many good things has been added and it will soon have a major version update in september including air force with 42 new bomber and fighter units so you can dominate the skies and win the wars that way. City construction will be added and a horizontal screenplay plus now it would actually be the best time to join as 5 star bomber and fighter units are given for free. What is this game you may ask? Well, Warpath is a free to play war strategy mobile game available on both Google Play and App Store combining real time strategy with the story of World War II as the background. But for you, with World of Tanks background, you will find a lot of similarities and easy game to jump into actually. It has everything from small guns, tanks and warplanes to large tactics, both for your solo battles and for massive alliance fights. Heavy tanks, medium tanks, tank destroyers, howitzers, you name it they have it plus you can meet the legend Jean-Claude Van Damme himself from there as a commander like come on so definitely check Warpath out by gently touching my link in the description or scanning the QR code on the screen and use the code AIRFORCE2021 which will instantly give you $10 worth of gold, oil, steel and army experience so you can use his resources to build your base and gain an advantage in the coming war. Have fun. Once again, thank you very much. I thought this might be something you might uh, be interested checking out. But now, moving on with the banks. And at the end of the video, I have a little giveaway for you. So, Matilda LVT. This is, once again, another quite weird-looking version of the Matilda. Right tier 4. We are moving up in tiers, tier by tier. Uh, this is uh, the uh, not-so-fast firing pew-pew Matilda version. Uh, 110 damage, 175 with uh, H. 91 penetration, 144 with premium rounds, uh, reload time 4.7 seconds, aiming time 1.7 seconds, accuracy well 0.43, minus 10 degrees of gun depression is nice though, and it is very extremely slow, so most of those tanks are not for me, but the tier 8 one once again, that one looks interesting. Also, it has the non-standard Matilda turret on it, which uh, looks quite cheese, actually. 38 uh, armor in the front of the turret only, uh, 25 on the sides and in the rear. Uh, but maybe that beacon mantle is going to deflect some shots, uh, of course, versus AG, it is good. And uh, maybe some uh, heat rounds as well, which fly around in low tiers. So this was Matilda. Next up, let's talk about M4A2 D34. M4 
4 and T-34 combined. I told you we have some weird Frankenstein tanks in this video. So this is a tier 5 medium tank coming to this game with 160 alpha damage, 280 with HE, 150 penetration, 195, 196 with premium rounds. In tier 5 it is very good I would say so. Reload time 6 seconds, 2.7 second aiming time, 0.38 accuracy, gun handling is quite meh and now the biggest caveat of course, 3.5 degrees of gun depression which doesn't make any sense. You know, it has massive... Uh, um, it has massive potential for good gun depression, but hey, this is not how this tank was designed. Uh, so top speed, finally, some mobility, 52, but power to weight ratio is not that good. Um, uh, traverse speed numbers are quite nice. Uh, engine power 420, blaze it. And I guess that's it. Uh, no armor, like standard. Like standard. <laughs> like the more I look at those vehicles, the, the more weird those things get. Talking about weird tanks, ladies and gentlemen, now let's focus a bit more on this one. Bofors Dornwagen. Bofors Dornwagen. Dornwagen. Bofors. Mofos. Mofos. Dornwagen. Okay, I stop here. Anyway, look at this tier 8 heavy tank, ladies and gentlemen. 400 alpha damage, 515 with AG. 248 millimeters of penetration with standard round, 297 with primo rounds. This is very high penetration for a standard round in tier 8, and most likely it is going to be a premium tank. Reload time 14 seconds, <clears throat> understandable. Aiming time super good, 2 seconds. Accuracy, it, is, it had even worse accuracy than Defender and the new uh, Charlemagne. 0 0.45, what the heck is this? But gun depression, nice. Uh, minus 10 degrees of gun depression. It can carry 38 shells. Uh, top speed numbers, uh, 32 only. And reverse speed is even worse. 12 kilometers per hour. This thing, looking at it, when I first saw the picture of this tank, I thought it is going to be mobile. It is exact, exactly opposite everything I thought this tank is going to be. 500 horsepower engine only, 11.6 power to weight ratio, so it doesn't have the good uh, uh, power to weight ratio to compensate the slow top speed like Charlemagne gets. Charlemagne actually accelerates very good, what you can see in the background as well, or what you saw in the background. <coughs> but this one doesn't have it. Super bad hull rotation speed, super bad turret rotation speed. But now let's talk about the craziest thing about this tank, survivability. 1,600 hit points is better than average in tier 8. Hull armor, 260 in the front, 50 on the sides, 40 in the rear. 260, you say? Turret, 280. 90, 75, not with uh, obvious weak spots. Right now we don't have the 3D model, but when I do, I will check it out. View range, extremely horrible. 360, so that means you basically have to use coated optics on this. 850 meters, who cares signal range? APCR, APCR, HE, and three crew, crew members, commander, gunner, and driver. So one, uh, one guy is doing the loading as well. So one guy is uh, having extra pressure because the loader, new intuition skill, is actually very, very sexy. So this tank having quite an interesting gun stats, high penetration, decent alpha damage, super bad accuracy, good aiming time, bad reload time, good gun depression, horrible mobility all across the board. This mobility is straight out horrible, there is nothing to hide, and quite crazy paper survivability. What I mean by paper survivability, we'll see uh, what kind of weak spots it has when, uh, uh, when um, you know the 3D? When we have the 3D model. So Bofors Dornwagen or Mofos Bornwagen. I I promise to stop. Um, 
This is quite crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about all of those things. Which tank seems to be the most interesting for you? Because this is also my today's video question. Do that, answer to that question together with your username, together with your server. And you have a chance to win a little piece from the... 15,000 gold cake I have for you today. Thank you to our sponsors for making it possible. And um, yeah, I have not even announced the previous month winners and I'm already hosting new giveaways. I have Excel sheet literally for all the giveaways because uh, the amount of winners, the amount of stuff giving away, it is getting crazier and crazier and I freaking love it. I hope you do as well. If you do appreciate uh, my stuff over here, hit the like button, make me happy, make sponsors happy, and um, subscribe. Yeah, that's it. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome, stay sexy, stay naked, take care, and bye.